We're gonna use a Photoshop feature that allows a layer to punch a hole through other layers. This is a Photoshop document with three layers. The sky, a white rectangle, and a black text on top. None of these layers is a background layer though. All of them are normal, regular layers. But I want the text to punch a hole through the layers below. Sure, I can use layer masks, but there is a better way to do it, using a Photoshop feature called Knockout. And whenever you want to use this feature, you must decide three things. First, you need to decide which layer will create the shape of the knockout, so which layer will punch through the other layers. In this case, it's the text layer. Second, you need to decide which layers will be punched through, in this case, all the layers below the text layer. And third, you need to decide which layers will not be punched through and remain intact, in this case, none. I want the text to punch through everything. So now that we made all these decisions, let's try to click on the text layer and choose blending options. Here under Advanced Blending, open the Knockout drop-down menu and select Shallow. Next, set the fill opacity to 0%. And now the text is punching a hole through all the layers below. That's why we see a transparent background here. And if I want to change the text, it's still fully editable. But what if I don't want the sky layer to be punched through? Well, simply convert it to a background layer. Click to activate it, and then go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. So now the sky is a background layer and the knockout will not affect it. Alternatively, you can keep it as a normal layer, activate the text layer and the rectangle by holding now the shift key, and then simply press Ctrl or Command G to group them. So now any layer that you might add outside this group will not be affected, whereas anything that is inside the group will be affected by the knockout. But what if you want this rectangle to be outside the group but still be affected by the knockout. You still want to punch through it. To do that, let's reopen the blending options of the text layer. But this time, let's set the knockout to deep. This will punch through everything inside or outside the group until it hits a background layer. So let's activate the sky and make it a background layer. And now the knockout is affecting everything except for the background, no matter how I group my layers. Get it? 